we need to know how much water soil can retain. And we call it the water retention capacity of soil. It is important to the farmer because if the soil can retains too much water, the soil will become waterlogged and plants won't grow well. Sandy soil, for instance, might let through too much water and the plants will dry out too fast. Loam, which is the type of soil that's mostly preferred in agriculture and in gardening, might have a in-between uh, um, water holding capacity. In other words, just perfect for the plant's needs. Now what I have here are three measuring cylinders, 100 milliliter each, three funnels with filter paper and soil specimens. Let me just show you how one should fold of the filter paper over in half and then into quarters but with a slight overlap. Open it, one part on the one side, put it in your cylinder. Okay. Now we have the same amount of soil in each of the funnels. I took three big scoops of soil. Of course if you want to have exact measurements you should weigh the soils to have the same amount of soil. And then I pour 100 milliliters of water into each funnel. This is the loam, the garden soil, and you can see the water is already started to drip through. The more clay soil and the sand. Right. Now this is going to take a while, so let's have a look at the samples that I did earlier this morning. Right, number one, sand. Remember, it had 100 milliliters of water poured into the funnel. Number two, loam. And number three, clay. Perfect. Can you see that the sand let through most of the water, very low water holding capacity? The clay only left, if we read this carefully, about 42 of the 100 milliliters and loam in the middle. And look at the color of the water that ran through the loam, dissolved salts, which also tells you and gives you an idea that this type of soil contains a lot of nutrients. So by comparing the amount of water that ran through, we can determine and compare the water retention capacity of different soil types.